can a story have everything except the kitchen sink? And now I was recently reminded of an idea I had as a child, where just because the story had basically every something for the whole family, like drama, action, Tom, Mitty, romance, all those kind of different elements, that would obviously be the best story because it had everything in it. But now, I don't really think that. In a way, this video is almost the antithesis to my video on side stories in a sense, but in a way that allows both to exist, I would say, but... <laughs> but then the thing is that there is that desire for general mass appeal, that everybody will want to watch your story or read it or however you want to enjoy it. That's almost a natural desire to have when you're releasing something into the wild. But the thing about that is that that doesn't always mean everybody's going to like it. And again, some people don't like certain elements and just having it in there can be distasteful for them. And in that case, kind of having a niche for a story is really good because it lets the audience know what they're in for and what they if they're probably going to enjoy it or not. And that can probably be how you would describe your movie in a sentence or whatever or however you want to do it. But one key thing to think of is what is the audience coming to the story for? And that's probably one of the key elements you should have in your mind is what are they here for in a sense. Especially if you're added on into a long running story is what is the audience that the story currently has? What are they coming to this story for? Because then you want to please your audience so that they keep coming back to the story or come out and support the story when you maybe have a seat roll or DVD release or however you are planning for the future. Even if you aren't having plans, but still having that option is good. So keeping in, what are they here for? is basically one of the core principles I think as a writer we should think of at least kind of in a general sense. And again, having that niche as a kind of like the general talking audience. Because again, by trying to mass appeal to something, you may end up appealing to no one. And again, one of the best things I think to do with general appeal is to focus on things that are almost universal in like the human experience. Like things like love, survival, all those kinds of things can generally be used to make us relate to the characters and to identify with them or how sympathize with them, however you want to put it. But anyway, the thing is that each element we add in takes away a bit of time from all the others because it didn't. Every story runs into the fact that it has a limited amount of runtime. Now with a long running TV series, they might be able to fit a bunch of elements in because they have all those hours with the same characters. And also with RPGs in particular for games, in that you have upwards of 100 hours with the same cast, so you can kind of experience their story and what's going on there for a certain amount of that time. So they kind of have the whittle loom to add in a bunch of different elements, but yet in like a two hour movie, you have those two hours to fit in all the different elements that not only the story needs, but also that you want to put in there. And so each element added in that isn't strictly necessary actually takes away time for those other elements. And now that could actually make the movie easy to digest if those are cut out removed, or they could be used to put in more of the elements that actually support the plot of the movie. And what do I mean by that? And that basically each plot, there are certain elements you would expect. So let's say we have a movie about a group of treasure hunters and they're searching for a lost piece of treasure. And so that is the plot. And now what supports it is the action. Maybe they're going up against opposing treasure hunting groups. And also the mystery. They have to find out where the lost treasure exactly is and how to find it. But now what might not support the plot is adding in romance so that you get that side of the audience and can appeal to them. And let's say the romance is in a cafe nearby, in whatever city they're in or wherever they're operating from. And that's where the romance happens and the romance is confined to there. And it's just basically a subplot, but it's there. But it doesn't really have anything to do with the story. In fact, it could be deleted entirely and the movie won't have to compensate for it. Or you could actually even add in more action and mystery into it rather than having to add in the scenes for the romance. 
Now, if you really wanted to have the romance in there, you could have it support the main plot. And that's the key here is that just adding the elements in doesn't always work. It needs to actually support the main plot. So by having the love interest become part of the treasure hunter group, maybe because they have a necessary still set, or they have knowledge of the area around the town, so they know where it is, or they might have a better idea of where it is, so they have information to offer. So by having that interaction and also that interplay, you're actually able to weave the romance into the story in a way that supports the plot and holds it up rather than making them balanced because it's there. But anyway, that is kind of my take on this topic. So why not feel free to share your thoughts on it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, you can like and share it so that others may enjoy it as well. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to our channel. Anyway, I'm Jonah, and you've been watching Lions Man Media, where we still write stories and the lessons we learn them. Talk to you later, and have a great rest of your day.